I grew up in a warm, loving, fun home. We poured into each other. I grew up feeling loved and cherished. Neither one of my parents knew how to swim, and so they wanted me to be water safe. As a very young swimmer, I was uh, blessed to compete for the United States for the first time. Um, I won a gold and silver medal at the Pan American Games, had the chance to stand on top of the podium as they raised the American flag and played the national anthem. Went on to become the first person in my family to graduate from college. I had a full scholarship for swimming at Stanford University. I was blessed to break four American records along the way. It was a dream come true. My whole life growing up, I sort of just knew it was something that I would really strongly consider is finding my birth mother. I was a freshman at Stanford and I decided that I was gonna reach out. I called the adoption agency. They were very polite, but said, I'm sorry, we can't help you. You have a closed adoption. There is no way to reveal any information to you. So there was all this anticipation my whole life and then suddenly just kind of realizing, okay, I'm gonna just have to journey forward and I'm never gonna know. 24 hours pass and the phone rings and it was the adoption agency. And they said, interesting turn of events, we actually found an affidavit of disclosure that your birth mother signed when you were 11 years old. Here's her name, here's her address. So I sat down that very day and I wrote her a letter. All the gratitude that I felt in my heart, I was able to put it on paper. She got that letter and she must have opened it and wrote her response back that very same day. And it said, I have dreamed of this day my entire life. I've wondered about you, I've dreamt about you. I've dreamed that someday that we could actually connect and that I could know in my heart that you were okay. The summer after my freshman year, she drove up from Iowa, we met halfway, and we spent the whole day together just talking. And I walked her through every picture, every birthday, every dance I went to. She smiled a lot, she cried a lot. It was a very emotional day. At 16 years old, she found herself pregnant, obviously in the same hometown. Everybody knew everybody. This was something that was going to be pretty scandalous. She was sent away to live with her sister up in Minnesota to go through the pregnancy and to give the greatest gift you could ever give to somebody. I mean, think about it. My adopted parents were given the gift of a baby that was put into their arms that they were ready to have. They had all the foundations in place to be able to give me this stable, loving, beautiful life that my birth mother wasn't ready to give to me. Dear Pam, I've waited my whole life for the opportunity to be able to thank you for the courageous decision you made to put me up for adoption. The shame that was inevitably inflicted upon you because of the cultural norms of that time, I'm sure made your courageous choice even harder in the moment. But you need to know that the gift of life you have given me has had an impact far beyond what you could have imagined all those years ago. I met and married the man in my dreams and together we journeyed through his career as an NFL quarterback. I was also able to bring four amazing children into this world who are all followers of Jesus as well. God willing, there will be many more generations to come, all because you were so very brave. The words thank you feel so insufficient. And if I could say them to you again and again and again for all the days of my life, it would never be enough. I am Lori Stenstrom. Thank you.